So I don't think it's a terribly controversial thing to say that pretty much everybody, including myself, loves pizza. But if you're trying to make pizzeria-style pizza at home, it can be pretty challenging, which is why something like the Uni Coda 16 pizza oven exists, and we're gonna talk about it in today's video. Hey, how's it going? This is Owen, and I have been using the Uni Coda pizza oven for a little while now, and I am pretty excited about it. We're gonna talk about the design of this thing, just how good the pizza was, how much it costs, and a couple things that I wish they would have done a little bit differently. If you want more information about this thing, make sure you look down below in the description. We should have some written content about this. And just keep in mind that this is only one of five different pizza ovens that Uni makes. We're gonna talk about a couple of differences between them in this video, but we're gonna be focusing most of our attention on the Coda 16. If you find this video helpful or interesting, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel. And let me know in the comments if you want some more pizza making tips. If you've been watching this channel for a little while now, you know that I am pretty interested in cooking, although it's something I've only done over the last few years. And I've spent a lot of time learning all the tips and tricks on how to make a good pizza in your regular oven. But we're talking about this oven in this video, and let's talk about the design of it first. That's one thing I really love about it. It's extremely simple, and it's really just two pieces that fit together. There's no electronics in this thing, for better or worse. We'll talk about that a little bit more later. And the legs just fold right in, so it's easy to transport if you are taking it somewhere for a pizza party, and it does look pretty nice in my opinion. I think this would look really nice next to your propane powered grill or something, and I could see this thing having a permanent fixture in my backyard going forward. This thing is not particularly light by itself without the stone. It's about 40 pounds, so it is definitely feasible to transport around. I've had this at my house, at the office, and at this house now, so I've moved it around quite a bit, and it's not that difficult, but I think I'd prefer it just to sit in my backyard once we're done testing this thing. It also seems really durable. I didn't like drop it from a large height or anything like that to test the durability, but it's made of pretty much one big piece of metal. The best part about the legs though is that they do fold right in to the body of the oven, which makes transporting it a lot easier. And maybe if you're taking this camping or something like that, you'll definitely wanna fold the legs in for transport, which I think makes it even more durable than I already think it is. This thing does come with several accessories in the box, namely a pizza peel, which is gonna be super important because without that, you can't take the pizza in and out of the oven. It also comes with a nice canvas cover that you can really protect it in the winter time if you're gonna leave it exposed outdoors. It also came with a pretty nice pizza slicer, although pizza slicers are generally pretty much the same unless you have one of those cool rocking ones, but this is one of those standard push ones. For me, the biggest disappointment with the design and the accessories that it comes with is the fact that without purchasing the temperature gun accessory, there is no way to tell just how hot this thing is internally. And knowing the temperature before you put your pizza in is really important if you're gonna actually cook it properly. And due to the design, there's no electronics like I mentioned, there is no temperature gauge on the oven itself. So you're kind of relying on some kind of infrared gun to tell just how hot it is. So I think not having any temperature dials or thermometers on this thing is kind of a bummer. However, I do think it does contribute to the quality and simplicity of the design. So it's kind of a double-edged sword there. If you're gonna order one of these for yourself, I highly recommend spending the extra 40 bucks for the thermometer. The first time I tried cooking pizza in this thing, I got the temperature up to somewhere around 700 to 600 degrees. Again, it was really hard to tell with the low quality infrared temperature gun that I was using. And it cooked the pizza quite well. However, it didn't cook it in as fast of a time as Uni says on their website. They say you can cook a pizza in about 60 seconds in this thing, and I would say it took more like four minutes. Another accessory that doesn't really come included with this thing that I would recommend is some kind of smaller pizza peel, honestly. The pizza peel is really nice and it's really large because you're gonna wanna fit a large size pizza on this thing because this thing can accommodate 16 inch pizza while the smaller version only does 12. 
However, because it was so large, I found it kind of difficult to actually rotate the pizza in the oven, which is something you want to do to get an even cook. So I would get something a little smaller. You can usually find pizza peels online for like 20 bucks and being able to rotate it more easily is going to be something I want to do in the future. Aside from knowing when it was up to temperature, the only other really challenging thing that I encountered cooking with this thing is something that you're going to encounter with any kind of pizza oven when you're using a pizza peel. So in order to actually get it off of the peel, you have to really coat that thing in cornmeal or something similar. There's a couple times where I really tried to get the pizza in there, it kind of stuck to the peel, and some toppings flew off into the fire in the way, way back, which charred it up quite a bit. So just make sure that you're using the proper technique. However, despite the learning curve in using this thing, the pizza, even the first one, which admittedly got a little bit burnt, tasted incredible. Now I made all the dough and the sauce from scratch at home, and you can actually order pizza dough from Uni directly, which I think is pretty interesting, and they do have some nice pizza dough recipes you can find on their website. I just use my usual standard one that I found online, and everything tasted fantastic. However, because it wasn't fully up to temperature, I did think the base was a little bit undercooked, but by pizza two or three on the first day, they turned out really good. I made pizza for everyone at the office that day, and at least for myself, I found it to be better tasting than the pizza I normally make in my oven, which is kind of the whole point. If I could get the exact flavor that I wanted in the oven, there wouldn't be a need for that thing. Mm. Yeah, this is really tasty. Uh, for the first go, I feel like this is uh, delicious. We're gonna do a couple batches here today and I think we'll definitely get a perfect one by the end. Now let's talk about some of the differences between this particular one, the Coda 16, and the other pizza ovens from Uni. So they make a smaller version of this that runs basically the exact same off of propane that accommodates a 12 inch pizza as opposed to a 16. Now they do have some other models, including ones that use wood fired pellets, which I think is pretty interesting, and ones that use a bunch of different varieties of fuel like propane, natural gas, and wood pellets. The Karu model is the one that uses all different kinds of fuels and actually features a chimney because if you're gonna be using wood pellets, it's gonna create a lot of smoke. And none of these are suitable to use indoors, just so, just so you know, even though this thing runs off of propane, if you use it indoors, you're gonna have a bad time. I would really love to try out the Karu model in the future because I think using wood pellets is a more traditional way to cook pizza and could impart even more flavor on the pizza. However, the bonus of using propane is that it is incredibly easy to use. All you do is hook it up to the propane tank, open some valves, and then it has a really nice ignition switch that's basically the same as using a gas stove at home. And one advantage I think to using propane is that it's really easy to control the flame. I was cooking up many, many pizzas at once and I needed some time in between to actually like prep the next one while the other one was cooking. And there were times where there wasn't anything in there, which it was really easy just to turn the propane down to save fuel. Then the other really big difference between the different models is obviously gonna be price. The Coda 16 is gonna be $600. And if you go for the smaller version of the Coda, that brings that price down to 400 bucks. And seemingly the only difference is just the size. Every other feature is the exact same. And then their highest end model, which is the Karu 16, that one has all the bells and whistles. It actually has a thermometer mounted to it, unlike this one. It uses all the different types of fuel, and it also has a door. I think the door is something that's actually potentially missing on this thing. It's hard to tell without really comparing the two directly, but a door is obviously gonna help retain heat. I don't think heat retention's a big issue on this thing. I didn't notice that being an issue, but maybe it'll help you use less fuel if you actually have a door that can close. And that one's gonna be 800 bucks. Obviously $200 is a pretty big significant price difference. However, if you have the budget for something like that, I might recommend going with the Karu, even though I haven't tested it yet. Which obviously begs the question, is something like this gonna be worth it for you? And personally, I love this thing. I am definitely gonna be using it a lot going forward, especially during the summer. It's gonna be really nice to have this sitting in my backyard and having a few people over for some really, really nice pizza. However, if 
cooking pizza is not something that you care about, then obviously, why are you watching this video? You probably don't care about a specific device that's gonna cook pizza for you. One thing that I appreciate about the Coda specifically, which I mentioned a bit earlier, is that it's really easy to transport, and I definitely wanna take this out on a camping trip and have some really delicious stone-fired pizza out in the wilderness. In general, I think the entire Uni pizza stove lineup is a really good way to really up your homemade pizza game. Again, there's lots of little tips and tricks you can use to kind of mimic this in a regular oven, but there's really no substitute for those crazy high temps to get that perfect pizza. But let us know in the comment section, would you consider a device specifically for cooking pizza or is that just too darn much for you? If you found this video helpful or interesting, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And again, if you want more uh, pizza tips and tricks, let us know, I'd be happy to oblige. Again, we should have some more information down below in the description if you're curious. And for CNET Home, this is Owen, and I'll see you in the next one.